This project was exciting because I was asked to make a sculpture that commemorated the players for England, the international squad, who in 1914 all volunteered for the Great War. I didn't think players would want to arrive at Twickenham pumped up to play for their country or club and then to see a war monument. So I wanted to find a way of commemorating the team but, and showing the symbolism of the change from player to soldier, but not in an obvious or figurative way. The gates are all made from bronze and brass. This is um, the strongest materials. They're also very beautiful. I didn't want to use stainless steel and have it painted. I wanted to have, some, have something that would be um, high quality and would last for a long time. I was looking for a symbol that would be immediately recognisable about the players and the English rose is clearly that symbol. And the idea I had was that if the rose changed through a series of um, shape changes and became a poppy, it would symbolise the journey the players made from being rugby players into being soldiers. Well, there's, there's so much that links rugby and, and the armed services. You know, if you think about teamwork and about physical fitness, about devotion and, and sacrifice, if you want, although on a very different scale, of course, you know, uh, there's so much that, that combines and it is sympathetic between what rugby means and what life in the armed services means. So there's always been a close bond going right back to the game in 1871 and, and that was most, most evident in, in, in the First World War when there were so many tens, hundreds of thousands of rugby players serving uh, in the forces. Uh, well, for those who know Twickenham, the gates will be installed uh, in, in front of the West Stand, uh, in front of the Lion Gate, or as part of the Lion Gate. So there'll be a really, you know, an iconic part of the stadium in a, in a, in a part of the stadium that, that many thousands, tens of thousands of people see on a match day. So it's really the, the perfect location for them.